what's up friends today I am opening up and reviewing this Holbein artist watercolor palm box it's a set of 12 half pan watercolors that comes with a brush I'm excited to try this out I love Holbein paints they're made in Japan they're super high quality they actually only make artist grade paints no student grade so you know that their quality is really good they've been around for a long time almost 100 years their website states that Japan is the country with the oldest professional watercolor tradition in the world so it makes sense that they would make some really high quality paint products. According to their website, it says Holbein does not contain ox gall or any other dispersants that inhibit optimum brush handling qualities. Holbein is a huge line. They have so many colors of paints. First of all, I did buy this with my own money. My number one gripe with this set right off the bat is the price. It was over $100 for this tiny little palm box with 12 half pans. Now, um, I think I paid like $120 for it on the Blick website, and it is about $102 on Amazon, so there are cheaper options options out there depending on where you purchase and I think you could even find it on eBay and get it for 50 bucks but overall this is a much higher price point for a set of 12 half pans than even Schmincke or Sennelier so we're looking at a fairly high-end watercolor box set and to put that into perspective the Blick website actually sells an assorted set of 12 15 milliliter tubes of Holbein paint and that set is $122 so almost the same as what I paid for this set of 12 half pans and a whole tube a 15 milliliter tube I mean you can use that for years so I don't know if you're just paying for the convenience or the nice packaging I'm not really sure but to me this seems overpriced we'll see if it's worth it all right so let's open up the box the corners are a little bent already because my daughter decided she wanted to check it out and open it first. <laughs> she put it back, thankfully. All right, so here is the box. It comes with a little swatch card. So we can actually swatch our colors in there if we want with the pigment numbers labeled already for us. And here's a little catalog included that shows all the different palm boxes. Wow, they have a really big set, 36 colors. I think I've seen some YouTubers reviewing that one. Everything is in Japanese. Oh, this is cool too. It also shows the permanency or the light fast rating for each of the colors here. And it looks like in my set of 12 here, the light fast ratings are all really good. So that's, that's good. Very nicely packaged. There's this little piece of tissue wrapped around it to protect the box. Wow, that is a lovely box. It's really heavy. You can't, of course, tell how heavy it is based on the video, but this is different from any other design I've seen for half pan sets. Pop the top off. Comes with these little plastic pallets. Okay, it's taking me a minute to figure out how to assemble this thing. So you can just clip that over the edge and then you have a little mixing palette ready to go. And there's the brush. So it comes with this brush as well. And like any professional set, each of the paints are individually wrapped. We're gonna have to unpackage those. I know that that's a pain and a discouragement for some people when they're buying half pans to have to unwrap each one of these. But trust me, it keeps the paints really nice and all professional paints do that. The box is big enough too that you could fit an entire extra row of colors in here if you wanted to. You could probably fit another nine paints, honestly, for a total of 21 colors. So looking at the selection right here, we have permanent alizarin crimson, vermilion hue. I'm a doze alone. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a daz, I'm a daz alone. I don't know how you pronounce that. Imidazolone yellow, yellow ochre, viridian hue, sap green, cobalt blue, prussian blue, daxazine violet, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and ivory black. For any travel set, it's kind of essential for me to see two sets of primary colors, warm and cool, and this set definitely includes that. Here's your cool red, your warm red, cool yellow, warm yellow, and you also have two greens, one warm and cool. We have two blues. This is the warm blue and the cool blue. Comes with a purple, which I think is so essential for any landscape painting. Burnt umber and burnt sienna, those are gonna be your wonderful earth tones and mixers for your landscape painting. And the only one that I find a little unnecessary is ivory black. I just don't paint with black when I'm using watercolor. So I may swap that out for a different color. But you know, for as expensive as this set was, I don't really wanna have to swap any. So <laughs> there's that. But okay, let's check out this brush. I love these little travel brushes when they come in this kind of bullet. It really is an amazing design because it protects your bristles when you're traveling. Oh, and this looks like it's about a size six brush, maybe a seven. So you just assemble it like that. And it is just the Holbein brand. It looks like the bristles when wet don't come to that fine of a point. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed by that. It doesn't look like a real fine pointed brush. I'm guessing it's a synthetic brush. Okay, and so 
these little side pans don't want to stay put. Let's see if there's a better way to do this. If I snap it on there really hard, then it'll stay. Okay. <laughs> so those are my little mixing spaces. Now it says it's a palm box, but this thing is really heavy and a little bit awkward. Let's slip it over. Okay. There's a thing right here that should pop out. Uh huh. I think that's so that you can better hold it in your hand. I don't know. Normally there's like a little loop underneath if you're, if it's meant to be held by your hand, but this seems somewhat, does anyone know what that's for? Leave me a comment. Like, do you hold it like this? sideways. Hmm. <laughs> so overall, I don't know how well this will work. Like it's sitting in my lap. I think the sides might pop off really easily. It shows in the box. It shows in the picture of the box that you can rest your brush right there on the cap. And this can be used as another mixing space. So I don't know, maybe for your desk that would work. But I'm thinking about when I'm plein air painting, I have an easel. So this could set nicely on the easel. When I actually get a chance to try this in a plein air setting, we'll see how these little side palette trays work. I'm a little skeptical. So let's go ahead and unwrap and swatch these colors and see how they look on paper. Okay, it took me about 10 minutes to unwrap all of these. Each one was so meticulously and thoroughly packaged. They did a really good job with that. And you can see that the pans are beautifully evenly filled. They're all the same height. That's something you'll notice with pro quality paints is that the pan paints, they fill them really well. They look like a lovely set. I'm really excited to dive in and do some swatches with these. So I have the included color card. We can begin with that. And I'm just gonna use the brush that came with it. So I've got my water and some paper towel. I'm gonna wanna rinse between each color to keep them as pure as possible. And we'll start with that permanent alizarin crimson. This is a color I actually typically have on my palette already by this brand because it's gorgeous color. And sure enough, you can see it's this beautiful, cool red, which when watered down becomes an amazing pink. This is vermilion hue. So this is the warm red on the palette. Typically I use Scarlet Lake, which is another Holbein color, but this vermilion is more orange than red. Although when watered down, again, you get a nice peach color, really lovely pink. And I can see this being a very useful color. And this is that yellow that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Imidazolone yellow, we're gonna go with it. This is the cool yellow included with the set. Looks really similar to my Daniel Smith Hansa Yellow Light which is what I have on my permanent palette for my cool yellow. Yellow ochre, this is another Holbein paint that I almost always have on my palette. So I'm already very familiar with this color and its properties and how it mixes with my other colors. And clearly if I've stuck with it this many years, it's a color I really love. So I'm really glad that that one's in this set because I use it all the time. This one is Viridian Hue. I don't typically use Viridian because it's, as you can see, almost this garish green. It's such a bright green, cool green. It's leaning a little towards the blue side. Beautiful, vibrant green. This one is sap green, and sap green is going to be marvelous for your landscape paintings. Just a beautiful, perfect, nature-esque green. Having a hard time staying in the lines here today. The next color is, this is the Cobalt Blue Pale. And typically, if I were to choose a warm blue for my palette, I almost always go for ultramarine, but that's a really pretty color. I am curious to see how that'll work for skies. And it, so that's an unfamiliar color for me. And then Prussian Blue is one I don't use very often either, but this is just a gorgeous, cool blue. Doxazine Violet. Again, I don't have this one on my palette, but I love having a purple on my palette for nature paintings, especially for mountain scenes. As the landscape recedes, it tends to get more blue and purple. And purple is also so lovely for some of those shadows within rocks. And then Burnt Umber. This is PBR7, and it's the same pigment number used in Burnt Sienna, which is actually the next color we're swatching. But Burnt Umber is a more rich chocolate brown, and I'm rinsing so I can get a nice light value and see that progression of values there gorgeous, useful color, especially for nature paintings. 
These paints, they activate right away. I'm having no trouble getting super rich pigment right from the tip of my brush on the surface of the paint. So I'm enjoying how easily they're activating. Sometimes when you get fresh pan paints, like the Mimeri Blue set I had, I had a hard time activating that set. For some reason, I couldn't get really rich colors from the surface of the pans but this set activating so nicely. And then lastly, the one color I'm not super thrilled about with this set is Ivory Black. The only reason is it's not transparent, it's just black. And black is black and flat. But you know, it might come in handy if I need a super, super dark color in my painting. It's a lot easier to just grab for your black than to mix three primaries, especially when you're working with these little palettes. Maybe you don't want to muddy them all up. You have limited time, limited mixing space. So black is definitely a convenience color. But there we are. There's the swatches. Overall lovely set. I am not super impressed with it for the price point. I really love my Saint Elie paints. I love my Schmincke paints. And I'm going to take this outdoors and see how it holds up next to those other sets that I love. So join me outdoors and we'll try this set in a plein air setting. I went on a short hike in Boulder, Colorado with my new set of paints, excited to try them out. I just set up my favorite Peshad box. This is my New Wave Yugo Peshad box and tripod with my handmade watercolor journal by Artsy Rosie. I started with a sketch, which is usually how I start, and then blocked in the really dark shadows using a mixture of my Prussian blue, burnt sienna, and a little of the alizarin crimson, and the greens in the set were absolutely perfect for the trees in my landscape. I loved that cobalt blue pale for the sky. I thought it was a perfect muted blue, not too vibrant, just the right color. The paints activated super easily, and it was just a perfect day to be outside enjoying painting outdoors. So here was my setup. I didn't even use one of the side panels that came with the set. I used the cover and one of the side panels not attached. I found that they were just too clunky, but there's the finished painting. It was such a beautiful day to be outdoors painting and enjoying the nice weather. Overall, this set worked really nicely today. All right, I'm back in my studio after painting outside this morning, and I wanted to offer some final thoughts on this Holbein watercolor palm box set. Overall, I'm honestly not that impressed, especially for the price. There are so many other sets that I think I will probably pick up first when I go planner painting over this one. And as pretty as this red box was, <laughs> It's kind of hard to open. The plastic palettes, I ended up only using one of them. I didn't have it attached to the side. I ended up using the cover for mixing. I didn't even use the brush that came with the set. I still prefer my silver black velvet travel brushes. And the colors themselves were fabulous. I have no complaints about the paints. The paints are wonderful. They're the high quality you would expect of Holbein. I did a larger swatch even of them just to show off their colors a little more on cotton watercolor paper. But honestly, this box, it's just not my favorite. I, I just prefer a metal tin any day over this clunky plastic box. Here's my Schmincke set. You can see it's kind of beat up. It's gotten a lot of love. And yeah, the pans are falling out. But I have used this so many times. And I love having the fold out sides on it. They don't ever come apart. Like these obviously kept falling off and breaking off and just weren't that stable. There's a reason that so many manufacturers go with the metal tin. It just works better. So other options for you to choose from if you're trying to consider which pan sets to buy, this would not be my first choice. I would go with Windsor & Newton Professional or Schmincke or saint -Elier. Even Daniel Smith makes a really nice set of 12 half pans. It comes in a larger metal tin, but all of those come in better boxes. They're just the same high quality paints, for better price points. I'll leave links in the description to all of those sets. You can check them out and shop for yourself. I'm still gonna use this. I mean, I spent a lot of money on it, so we're gonna have to use these paints. <laughs> Thanks for watching my thorough review of this Holbein set. If you like product reviews, check out these other videos and I'll see you over there. 